Hi Aquarius, this is your reading from June the 1st, 2020 to June the 15th, 2020. I would like to first off thank each and every one of you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I have reached 1,000 subscribers. That is insane. I could never have imagined. <laughs> so, <clears throat> that's really fun. Um, and for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. So this is a love reading and um, I will be talking on behalf of the person. Do keep in mind it's not going to resonate guys. Um, I have, you know, I've read most of the comments and um, of course some things don't resonate and, you know, keep what does, um, take out what doesn't. And there's, you know, many other tarot readers out there that you could definitely look into. Most of them are so amazing. Um, also, if I do speak on behalf of the person, please don't think I'm saying so, saying sorry on behalf of them um, because obviously we can't apologize. I'm just the messenger. <laughs> so it's just information that I'm providing to you. It's not as if I'm taking anybody's side. So that, there's a difference. Um, so Aquarius, the person that you are connecting with on a romantic level or the person that you want to be connecting with uh, romantically will be looking into what they feel for you currently from early June to mid June 2020. I'm just going to do a quick prayer. Thank you. Okay. All right, guys. So, mm, Aquarius, let's see. Okay, I'll write down. Like I said, I'll be talking on behalf of the person, so. My dear Aquarius, I feel sorry for you. I feel compassion and I empathize because I know the situation that you're in is very difficult and I feel this, I sense this because there are certain things that you need that you don't have in your life and I want to give you these things. And the reason why I feel compelled to give you and fulfill your needs or certain desires that you have or to be with you at a certain time when you need me the most it's because I feel that we have a spiritual bond that goes beyond this lifetime. I do feel that. And I feel obligated because I do feel that there is something between you and I that go far beyond the stars and we were together in a past life. I feel a genuine care for you. Between our relationship, there may have been things that I was hiding. Hiding, and most likely, I did not tell you because I was truly afraid of how you would react to certain things. And I am not feeling so great about that because I'm trying to embrace the shadow. I put you in a position that was very uncomfortable. <coughs> I made you do something that you were not comfortable with. You were out of character and I made that. I put that in you and I'm feeling sorry about that. And I don't like what I did because I see that you really tried to change your ways in order to suit my ways. However, I do realize now that that was absolutely wrong for me to do. And I can't get over you because when I'm with you, I feel so much pleasure. There's a tingly feeling. There's a lot of desire, attraction, pleasure when I'm with you. The way you smell, the way you touch me, the way I touch you. There's so much about you that I feel pleasure by and I don't have this feeling with other people. It's you. I've come to the realization that I want to create something long-lasting with you, a web 
something that both of us can be stuck in and build together. I want to have a relationship with you, Aquarius. Because I see how you are with others and how others are with you. I see the beauty in that. I want to put to death the situation that we're in right now and to have a new rebirth and start something brand new. Wipe the slate clean. Because this situation, Aquarius, has me in rage. It has me angry and it has me frustrated. And I want to make things right, but I am feeling sorry and upset for what I did to you because you are so gentle, you are so soft. I really hurt you and I made you feel very uncomfortable and I need to fix the situation. I want it to die out and for something new to begin, like a new relationship. Wow. Aquarius, this guy or this girl is feeling sorry for you. They don't feel sorry for you guys. They, they feel, um, they feel like, oh crap, I put this person in this situation. Like they, they have that kind of feeling towards you. So they, they don't feel bad and they do feel bad and yeah, they should, um, whatever they did to you and they themselves are very frustrated and angry over the situation because they want a relationship with you. So something did happen, guys. And um, maybe you can, you know, in the comments section below, definitely um, feel free to leave comments. I like reading them. <clears throat> but yeah, something happened and this person's really in their head about it. Um, they, feel, they feel bad for what they did to you and what kind of a situation they seemed to put you in. It was very stressful. There was something that happened and you are not able to think straight. You have to think like a different person. You're not the same simple person when you're around this person. You have to think a bit differently. And they don't like the fact that they're turning you into somebody different. So let's see what this person, what the actions of this person, what, what are they going to be? What are the actions? Words, queries, what is this person going to do? Romantic interest, what actions are they going to take towards? Eight of Pentacles. So they are going to be strategically working on a plan. They feel that you were fated, you were meant to be, and what comes around goes around. They think that you will be together. They want this. They feel that if they work hard enough, they will be able to see you and be with you once again. They do have several options and you are very much one of those options. You are very tempting, but they're not taking any action because they're daydreaming. They're daydreaming a lot. They're thinking about the plan. They're thinking what it would be like to be with you again. If you guys would be able to come back together again. Um, more than a few cards came out. So they, Four of Swords, they're taking some time off, they're resting, they're thinking about this. Um, they don't want to indulge in anything right now. They are just all in their head. They're literally just thinking and they're weighing the pros and cons, the options. So they may be juggling either two people or a work situation, family issues. Um, there's something in their life that's more than just you as a priority. And that is also on their mind. That's why they kind of have to hold back on certain decisions or certain actions that they do. Last card, um, so Seven of Wands. So it does seem like there is a lot of struggle and this person's very much in their head right now. They're not thinking, they're not doing much action. There's not gonna be a lot of action, guys. There's a little bit of planning, but there's a lot of thinking. Under the bottom of the deck is Page of Cups. So they really do, at, in the end, they want to say sorry to you. Um, overall, the reading is that they are sorry, they are upset, and they want to apologize for what they did because they are emotionally immature. And yeah, so there's a lot of thinking, guys. There's less action. Um, 
So you may not have too much action, you know, the first half of June, but um, then again, time is fluid, right? So under the bottom of the deck, like you had um, the page of cups, there could be some type of an apology, some type of a message. You might see that this person's a bit um, talking to you a bit more lightly. Um, they're trying to get back to you somehow. You may feel this or sense this. It might not just be like a letter or a text or a message. It might literally just be a gesture. So I'm using the Angel Therapy deck by Drawing Virtues and just want to spread some messages here. So cancel, clear, delete. Use only positive words and thoughts as they're rapidly manifesting into form. Ask the angels to cancel the effects of past negative thinking. Okay, guys, so there's a set of ways that you have been thinking, okay? You've been stuck in a situation. So basically, the angels are saying, cancel, clear, and delete the darn thing. This is not what you were born for, guys. Um, negative energies do attract negative energies. And it becomes so powerful, people fall into depression. And when you get depression, it's like a sponge. It soaks in more negative energies, guys. This is obviously not health related. This is just spiritual related. But the point is that that aura, it's almost as if your aura starts getting holes in it and then negative things start seeping through, okay? And it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And at one point you just, you have a breakdown, right? So love is a tough thing. So just remember that, yes, try to cancel, clear and delete and be very positive with your words, with your thoughts, say it out loud, write it on a piece of paper, stick it on your wall, say some positive affirmations, something positive about yourself and believe that you are that best person, that best version of yourself. And you can be better than what you were before because you have learned from your mistakes and you can move on because there's something in the situation that doesn't seem to be right. It seems as if you do have to move on. There could be a possibility that the person comes back to you, but this person's truly just thinking and they're angry about the situation. Okay. Big deal, right? Like, we need some action here. I would have liked some other cards, guys, but I'm just telling you like it is. If it doesn't resonate, please don't apply this to yourselves then. Um, all right, one more card. Aw, oh, vacuum away fear. All right, I understand what this is. It says, call upon Archangels Michael and Raphael to lift fear-based energies from you, your surroundings, this situation, and everyone involved. All right, guys, so it does seem, Aquarius, that you may have fear of leaving this person or leaving the situation. And if you do, you may be fearing what kind of retaliation are you going to be getting? What are other people going to think? You know, how bad is this going to look? So you do have a lot of fears or it might be financial. You know, it just might be emotional, any type of um independent like you you need to be more independent you might be independent but there's a part of you that is afraid to take that step and honestly sometimes you just have to take a leap of faith and sometimes you have to think it through sometimes you just have to take it one step at a time you can't just jump because there's so many things involved in that situation you know it's like um like the foundation of something right you take one brick out the entire building will collapse. You have to be very careful when you're making decisions. But you, it says here, you're afraid. You have some fear. So vacuum that away, guys. Take it how it resonates. Archangel Michael and Raphael are powerful, man. I've, I'll probably post many things later, but I've had personal experiences and it's crazy shit. <laughs> These guys are strong beings. And I believe in them to the core of my heart and being. I, I, I'm so, so much into them. They have helped me a lot in my life. They're powerful beings, guys. They exist. They can help you. If you get nervous, focus on service. So under the bottom of the deck, put your entire intentions on answering the question, how can I make the world a better place? And the law of attraction will automatically take care of your needs. So guys, yes focus on something else the law of attraction 
is very similar to what I was saying here, negative energies. If you're negative, you will, if you're sad, lonely, depressed, you will attract more negative energy. If you're positive, you will attract law of attraction, positive energy. That's the way it works. So yeah, you guys have that capability, but for yourselves, it might just take some time because you know, time heals wounds, but the heart wants what the heart wants, guys. I know that. <laughs> um, I hope some of you have resonated with this reading. Let me know in the comments below. Um, please do like, share, and subscribe. I really do appreciate all that you guys are doing for me. Um, there's so much support. I'm just amazed at that. And I do hope that this resonated. Um, and I will see you guys in mid-June. So take care, guys. Bye-bye then.